In this video, I show you how I carve my own stamps. Welcome to the first part of this video series that I created especially for Brush Magazine. In this video, I show you how I carve my own stamps for the project that I created for Brush Magazine number 8, which has the theme Ubuntu. And I do not mean the new Linux operating software. I'm Rika Blokland from blocknote.nl and welcome to a new episode of Original TV. This series is a collaboration between me and Brush Magazine. I can proudly share with you that I've been selected to be one of the members of the Brush Magazine creative team for 2019. For more information about Brush Magazine go to brushmag.com. But first watch this video as I've made it especially for you to inspire you to create, make art and have fun. Ubuntu is a South African word meaning something like humanity. As a member of the Brush Magazine creative team I was asked to do something with this theme. As an artist I'm very much interested in folk art. I have books about folk art from Africa, Russia, Japan, South America and also Europe where I'm from. I think that what makes us human is our creativity. So for this month's team Ubuntu I wanted to combine different traditional folk art ideas into a new mixed media piece to underline the similarities in folk art traditions worldwide. In three videos I show you how I carve my own stems, how I created my own background papers and then how I created a layered mixed media folk art spread in my art journal. First I drew a folk art inspired element onto a piece of carving material. The floral shape I'm carving here was in fact inspired by a flower on a folk art dress from Croatia. The material I'm using here is from a lino cutter kit by SD, but I must admit that I actually prefer to use regular cheap soft erasers from office supply stores. You can draw your pattern with a ballpoint or a graphite pencil. All the parts that you do not want stamped you carve away with gouges. I usually use a small gouge for the fine line work and a bigger one to cut off all the excess material. For me it works best to direct my gouge into one direction as much as I can and then turn the stamp itself with my left hand to cut the lines. That's it, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you liked this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel. For more information about Brush Magazine go to brushmag.com and if you're new to art journaling go to artjournalschool.com where I have a free online art journal workshop for you in which I share with you my ideas about art journaling and also some fun basic art journal techniques. See you, bye!